Welcome. This is what's happening on the sun today, the 5th of July 2011. I forgot to mention yesterday that we were at Apelion, which means we were at our furthest point from the sun, or about 94.5 million miles away. This occurs around the 4th of July every year. This is fortunate for us, for that means the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun when we are furthest away from it. The northern hemisphere having more land than the southern hemisphere means that it warms up more. So this is the, one of the reasons why we have such a relatively even climate. If the northern hemisphere were tilted towards the sun in January, our swings from winter to summer would be much more extreme than they are now. A trivia question for today is that three nations have sent probes beyond Earth orbit. Obviously the United States and Russia are the two of them. Which is the third? Well let's take a look and see what the flaring situation has been over the last 24 hours. And it's a very simple picture, there hasn't been any. So we're continuing the pattern of a low burst of activity followed by a long quiet period. I wonder if that will continue. Well the way to find out is to look at the sunspot regions. The reason seems to be that we only have two numbered regions on the disk at the moment. Region 1244 apparently has grown a little bit overnight and region 1243 has decayed a little bit overnight. But they're both modest active regions so we don't expect a lot of activity out of them. There is a region coming over the southeast limb. There's a few small spots there but it's nothing to write home about. Oh, by the way, that area that I told you about yesterday just trailing region 1243? Well, overnight it did produce a few little spots, so I was right about that. But, of course, they died away just as quickly as they appeared. So it doesn't seem to be there's going to be very much activity there. So let's take a look at the time development of these regions using the sunspot and magnetic movies from SDO. You may have to put this on full screen in order to see the tiny spots that appear trailing region 1243. But overall you can see the decay of the magnetic field throughout this time period. At the end of the magnetic sequence you can just see the new region coming over the southeast limb start to appear. Despite the fact that we've had very little flare activity, there have been two coronal mass ejections. So let's see from the transition region movie if we can see where they came from. The one that's in the northeast is quite obvious. However, the one in the southwest is not. And that means that it's probably from behind the limb. Sorry, I don't have any stereo data to confirm or deny that, though. As usual, the low temperature coronal movie is showing a lot of dynamics, but as we would expect, no major flares. The high temperature coronal movie shows the region in the southeast looks quite interesting, albeit small. But it also shows how weak regions 1243 and 1244 are, which is why we're probably not getting very many flares from them. So let's take a look at the coronal mass ejections that I talked about, and for that we go to the Soho coronagraphs. The first rather large one is in the northeast, followed by a second one in the southwest. The ACE data show us that there's been not very much change in the solar wind in the last 24 hours in speed, temperature or density, which is rather surprising for when we look at the auroral zones from the GOES-15 data, we find they seem to be a little bit more agitated than usual. And also the KP index is rated at slow storm level. This does not seem to be the result of a high speed solar wind stream, but probably more likely we were brushed by one of the small coronal mass ejections that we've had in the last few days. So in summary then, the X-ray background has fallen to the A9 level, the sunspot number is at 44, the radio sun intensity is at 86 solar flux units, solar wind speed is quite low at 380 km per second with a density of 4 protons per cubic centimeter, and geospace conditions indicate that we're in minor storm conditions so we might get some small aurora. I have downgraded my 24 hour forecast given there is a poor chance of C flares and a very poor chance of getting M or X flares. The sunspot number will remain low. We still have a good chance of coronal mass ejections. The solar wind speed will remain low. And uh, the chance of further geomagnetic storms, therefore, will be poor. In the longer term, we're still three or four more days away from a major region coming over the east limb. So I think conditions will remain pretty much as they are unless we have new regions emerge or major growth in existing regions. The answer to the trivia question is Japan. Japan sent a probe to Mars in 1998, <clears throat> making it the third country to initiate interplanetary exploration. If you want more details about what's going on in the Sun, follow some of the uh, links in the description box below. If you want to look at earlier editions of the Sun today, go to my channel, they're all listed there, along with a bunch of other videos that you might find fun to look at. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.